Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be discussing how you can create a watch mule and uh, how you can basically give yourself unlimited scavenging resources to keep giving you whatever resource you need in this menu to like optimize gear or whatever else that you want to do. So we talk about it a lot in streams and you've heard us discuss this watch mule and a few of you have asked what do we mean by that. So it's just a term that uh, the guys use for a character that they use to be able to give themselves unlimited scavenging points. It's as simple as that. And when I say unlimited, they are limited you can see that i'm down to my last 15 points here so i could put them into something that i need like printer filament or the steel that i'm short on here as well um but what a watch mule does is once you've run out of these uh scavenging points like i'm about to do you're able to just in a couple of hours get a lot more scavenging points back now this is highly depending on what shade level you are you can see i'm shade level 2803 so that's a high watch level now that means that i can make a very good watch mule now if you're less than shade level 1000 it's not going to be that good for you uh, but anybody that's got a high watch level like myself or even higher this is going to be very beneficial so how it works is basically once you've run out of scaven scavenging resources and you're, you're not able to invest anymore, you just want to create a new character. Now, this does mean that you've got to have one character slot free to be able to do this. And I know that could be hard for you to come away from if you do have four active agents, but this really is worth it, especially if you have high watch levels. You'll see in a moment just how worth it it is. Uh, but all you want to do is keep that available slot for a watch mule. You'll be deleting this every time you spend all the watch levels to start again as well. And there'll be your watch mule slot. And when you click on new agent, you have the benefit of going straight to the Warlords of New York campaign so again as you probably already guessed if you're watching this video and you've seen you know you don't have a watch level you do need the warlords of new york dlc to get the watch in the first place and be able to do this but if you just um start straight from the warlords of new york campaign and creating a new character you can skip straight to the expansion and this makes this process very very quick after you've created your character, you're going to get put straight into the Warlords of New York cutscene, as we see here. You can skip this, you're going to jump off the chopper, and you're going to start the Warlords of New York campaign. Now, if you do this solo, uh, it's going to take you, I don't know, anywhere in between three to five hours, say, depending on how experienced you are with the Warlords of New York campaign. But your goal here is just to finish the campaign, so it's to go through... Follow the objectives, uh, get get to the main base and complete all four areas. You're going to finish off at Liberty Island. And once you defeat Kina, you finish the campaign. And that's your goal here. If you've got some friends that can carry you through this that are already level 40 with great builds, it's going to make this process so much quicker. And you're going to get this done in around about two hours, three hours tops. And here we are. So I've just finished the New York campaign. Huge shout out to Captain Recon and Ozzy for jumping in and carrying me. It took us just two hours to do. And um, when you finish the New York campaign, you've got to go through this Keener's Watch tutorial. And they'll explain to you how you unlock the watch in each of its segments again. Uh, you've got four different areas you can work on. But anybody that's done this before and got through the warlords of new york campaign and started working on the watch you know that this is maxed out at 1000 levels so where we were going on about before where we said the more watch levels you've got the better this is where you'll see it now so we've just got to quickly go through this tutorial and at the end of the tutorial you're going to see exactly how it allocates all the watch levels that's taken from your account so you'll see that i'm still shade level 2803 there so what it's done is allocated all of those levels uh, evenly as it does as if you're going through watch levels normally from zero so it's maxed out on my offensive defensive handling and utility but once those four are maxed out the rest of them all go on scavenging. So where we only had, I think it was 15 levels to spend earlier, we've just got a new character through New York in just two hours, and we've got 2,003 available levels to spend on scavenging. And now this is where you can take full advantage of having these extra levels. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that this character has its own resources right now. So I can spend these levels, but it's only going to be for this character. So the first thing that you want to do is fix that. Just fast travel back to DC, and you're going to want to go and speak to Ayn Yara, who's going to give you shared blueprints. 
And Yara is just near the crafting station here. And if you just interact with her, you can see it here. You've got account shared blueprints and account shared materials. So just ba purchase both of these. They're really, really cheap. Just 17 credit each and uh, that now shares the blueprints and the materials so if i go back into my watch there and go back to those 2003 levels you'll see that it's now shared across the account uh, with my other non-hardcore characters so what we can do now is we can use these 2003 levels that we've got on scavenging and we're able to give ourselves credits if we want these credits are just for this character uh but in terms of your ceramics and your carbon fiber and all of this stuff your electronics titanium printer filament these are shared across all of your characters now so you can use these watch levels to increase these and max them all out and once these are all maxed out you can then go back to the character where you want to optimize a build say and you can then start optimizing pieces when you run out of materials you can come back to your watch mule character as we're calling him and we can max these out again and we have got we were we well we had over 2000 levels to play with obviously as you keep on going these levels will come down but you're going to optimize plenty of builds doing this and you'll fully get them optimized or anything else you want to use these materials for and then once you run out of these 2000 watch levels as i've got you can just delete the character recreate the character and do it exact same thing again and as i said it just took me two hours to get these 2000 plus scavenging points to spend it's highly dependent as we have already mentioned a couple of times on your watch level you want to you know the more advantage you can take of this the higher the watch level you'll be i'd say if you are less than a thousand watch level you, you're only gonna get up to 200 scavenging points and it isn't gonna be that useful but if you are over 2000 like myself you are gonna have a considerable about a considerable amount of scavenging points to spend and it's the best way to like optimize your gear for sure optimization can be very expensive and if you have a watch mule like i do and many others do it makes it that much easier like two hours and you get all these watch levels to spend so the higher the watch level the better if you do have a high watch level i highly advise that you do this but that is all i wanted to do today in this video i want we've been speaking about it a lot recently in streams about having a watch me all and a few people have been asking me about it and you know what is a watch me all and that's exactly what it is it's just a term for a character that we use to get easy watch levels when we have a high watch level ourselves to then generate a lot of scavenging points to optimize our builds very very easily that's exactly what it is that's exactly how you do it if you have enjoyed today's video do remember to hit like and share support it subscribe if you're new here and uh, that's us done do come and check out our community it's linked at the top of the video description it's the best division community on discord come and check it out until next time thank you for watching this video today uh, stay safe and peace out